What if Cole McGrath was able to split himself up into two and fight himself, good versus evil, in a 1v1 match? What's going on everybody, my name is Paul and this is my 1v1 PlayStation of All-Stars Battle Royale, what a battle. Now, in this game there are two different characters of Cole and the reason why is because they have two different fighting styles. Good Cole has a more precise, clean killing fighting style just like in the video games and he also has two different abilities with these two different characters. Uh, Good Cole has ice abilities while Evil Cole has fire abilities. If you guys have played the game, which is a really un underestimated game, it's really uh, overlooked by a lot of the community. But uh, here I get flung across the map. And yes, I'm playing the computer on the highest difficulty right now, and I put up a really good fight in my opinion. Good Cole is my forte. I'm really good with the Evil Cole, and I'll tell you why in a second. But as you guys can see, he's just trashed me up, but I do put up a fight. I really do. And my brother is better with regular Cole. Now, if you guys have played Infamous 1, you would have noticed that Good Cole has pretty much more precise clean killing attacks and tactics. While Evil Cole has more explosive attacks, his, his attacks are less controlled and they were more likely to kill himself because of that. He would pretty much uh, end up blowing himself up half the time when I was playing as him and he slammed me into the wall right there. But in this game, they kind of balanced it out. Now they do have similar specials as well, like the first one is the exact same for both of them, but the level 2 and 3 ones, that's where they branch off. Now in this game, uh, Evil Cole's combos, they're not quite as good as Good Cole's. So as you guys can see, I can run straight up there with my blades and pretty much slice him up and catch him to some combos that he can't escape from. Wow! Evil Cole can fight enemies off and hold them back with his explosive attacks. That's what I like because when me and my brother play as these two characters, I'm holding them back while he runs up in there and gets them into his grill. And I get sucked up by him right here. And I'm trying to come back so hard right now because I don't think I've gotten a single kill. And you see what I do. But like I said, he's not my character. It's still somewhat good. And uh, here we go. I'm fighting him left and right. But who do you guys think would win? Tell me in the comment section right now before the match ends because... I want to know and the way this match ends I think that's the way it's supposed to end and I'll see why in a second but uh, if you guys like this series remember to tell me more of these type of fights you want to see in the description and also if you guys could just leave a like it really means a lot to me so the support I got from you guys with the Jack and Daxter one versus the Ratchet like oh man it's just amazing but uh, I can't use the copyrighted music anymore I'm scared of that shit that stuff and here I get falling into the wall again this guy was just dropping me left and right at least he wasn't spamming. I don't like spamming, but I do like the fact that he was comboing me like that. I've never played against Evil Cole like this, and now I see the damage that he deals. But uh, as you guys can see, I'm about to lose here, and the reason why is because I think Evil Cole would win. He has stronger abilities, he has less control of his power, and that alone means that it's a force that you can't reckon with. If he can't even control it, what makes you think Good Cole's gonna control it? And I honestly think, and look at that, I tried to make a comeback. I honestly think that Good Cole will be defeated just like he was in Infamous 2. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit it up with a like. My name is Paul, and I'm out.